Hello, my name is Hector Moreno. I'm currently taking Engineering Graphics Course 1204, Section 101 for Texas A&M International University. Today I'll be showing you how to draw assignment 1-1. I'm going to go by it quick, so pay close attention. Here we have three arcs with three different radius. So I'll do the di diameter of these arcs and show you how to do them. Over here, you go to draw then arc, start, end an ankle so you press start go and at an end and put a hundred because 50 radius would be a hundred diameter and then put 180 degrees enter 180 and that's it done let's do another one draw R start and angle and we'll do another one at 130. There it is with 180 degrees. And one last one. Draw our start and angle. 180 degrees at 160. And 180 degrees. So then we move this to the base of that one right there. We move this other arc from the midpoint to the base of that one as well. We type in line and connect. Connect these endpoints right here. And then we do another line on this side and connect these endpoints right here. Now it has a curve right here of 5 radius for all these four places. So here we will use fillet to, to do the radius. We'll select the first object, press the down arrow, press it again, enter for radius, and you'll click 5.0 for radius. And then here's the second curve, and there you go. Now we do that for the rest of these. Fillet. Here's your first object. Radius. Five. Enter. Fillet. There it is. Radius. Five. Enter. Fillet. Radius five enter and there we go. Now to get the the polygons at forty five degrees, we can do dim center right here. So there's the center right there. Let's do a couple of lines. Starting from here at 90 degrees, let's say 100, and then another line, say right here at 45 degrees, at 105, and then another line right here at 45. Plus 90 equals 135. So we'll put it right there. Now, to do these hexagons, you'll click the polygon button. I mean, you'll, you'll type in polygon here. And to number of sides, six sides. And then specify the center. Here you go, inscribed in circle. And let's do 10. Since that's what it is, 20 across the flat or, or 10. And then let's highlight this and copy. Let's do three more. Okay. Now we 
move this one. Let's move it to the origin right here. And then we'll rotate. And let's do it that way. So now we can move this one. over here along this line which is 7.5 let me see move that correctly Let's move this. And now let's rotate this object. There we go. Um, let's move it from here. To here. Unfortunately, that's all that time I have. So I'm going to have to stop it there. All the dimensions were right. It's just about moving and rotating this here. And then putting the dimensions for here. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it.